opening a website. You can access the internet by using any web browser. Let us learn how to use the internet through Mozilla Firefox, which is a very popular web browser. The steps to start Mozilla Firefox are as follows. Step 1. Click on Start button. Step 2. Click on All Programs. Step 3. Click on Mozilla Firefox. Or, you may find the icon of the web browser, Mozilla Firefox, on the desktop or even on the taskbar of the desktop. Just click on it. Step 4. Enter the website address or the URL in the address bar. For example, www.google.com Mozilla Firefox opens just like any other software window. The various components of the Mozilla Firefox window are title bar, menu bar and navigation toolbar or address bar. Let us now explore some of the common tools present on the toolbar of a web browser. Backward and forward buttons Backward button is used to go back to the previous web page while the forward button is used to go to the next web page. Refresh button When you click on this button, it reloads a fresh copy of the web page you are working on. It helps you when you get an error message while opening a web page. The location of this button depends on the browser you are using. Home button When you click on this button, you will automatically reach the default home page set on your web browser. Do not confuse it with the home page of a website. Fatbyte The internal system of the computer gives a self-generated warning like the file you are opening is harmful to your computer. Take these warnings seriously and avoid using such links. Netiquettes Netiquette is made up from two words, that is network and etiquette. It means a set of rules that we should follow while using the internet. Here are some of the do's and don'ts we need to always remember while using the internet. Avoid giving information like home address, school name and photograph through public messaging services such as chat or bulletin boards. When you interact with someone online, make sure that you trust the person before giving personal information. Avoid revealing your name if not necessary. Refrain from responding to emails from unknown people. Do not click on links or URLs that seem to be suspicious. Since we cannot see or hear our cyber pals, they may not be who they present themselves to be. Check your email message twice before sending it and avoid using all caps in the message. All caps sounds like you are shouting at the recipient. Internet safety tips You should always use the internet under the supervision of your parents and teachers. This reduces the potential risks of being online. It is advisable to work under the guidance of your teachers or parents. Be aware of the services you use. If not necessary, avoid working for long hours on the internet. It may not be good for your health. There is no such thing as private on the internet. You may think it is, but it is not true. People can find anything they want, so be careful. Do not download content without your parents' permission as many sites have viruses that will damage your computer. Some sites also have very inappropriate content. 